Well, it's called a secret for a reason, but no more, because today I'm going to cover how to get the secret weapon in Roblox Islands. Welcome back to a Roblox album. Let's get into the video. Getting the secret blueprint. Getting the secret blueprint. To get the secret blueprint, you will need to make your way to Wizard Island. The way to get there is to go first to the brand new island, then you have to go to get yourself teleported to Slime Island. When you get there, then you have to then find a teleporter and send yourself all the way over to Buffalcore Island. Now go all the way over to the end of the Buffalcore Island and now teleport yourself. This time, go to Wizard Island. Of course, you will already need to have the keys for both the Bubblecore Island as well as the Wizard Island, as otherwise you can't gain access to them. Now that you are finally on the Wizard Island, you have to go and look for the Lizard Wizards. These guys are small, but feisty and quite tough too. To get to the Wizard Lizards, you will need to get to the top of the trail on the island. Here you will see three little wizards on a small island. You have to then go in and kill as many of these as you can manage to. The little wizards spawn there, and you're away to get to the secret blueprint, but mind you, as we have already mentioned before, it is a pretty rare drop from the lizard wizards. You might even have to spend hours, or even in some cases, even days just killing these lizards before you find a secret blueprint. No matter what you do, you have to come prepared to fight these lizards because they are not an easy target. One of the most common and basic items you are going to need to fight are the berries. The reason you will need these is because they can bring your health level back up almost instantly. If you need it, and they are also incredible for you if you end up taking any damage during all the fighting. Next is your weapon of choice. Whatever you select, it has to be something that is very strong and sturdy. You can go for a hammer, an iron sword, or a wood one, but when you are up against the wizard wizard, these might not be any good. We think that the best and most advanced weapon for going one-on-one -on -one with the Wizard Lizards has to be your good old spellbook. It is far more effective than any other weapon you might have available. All you need to do is fire two shots and the Lizard dies. Sounds easy, doesn't it? Well, that you will have to find out for yourself. It can be extremely hard to hit the Wizard Lizard at all times. You might aim at their head and cast a spell, but the shot will go right through their hat and not hurt them at all. Your best bet is to keep fighting them over and over again. A good tactic would be to zoom in all the way into the screen and try to hit as many of the wizard lizards as you can with the spell book. And if you choose to go with the hammer, then just keep hitting the lizards with a hammer like you would any other mob on Skyblock. There is no way you can auto farm it as Roblox has not provided any safe areas on the island where you can stand. So it's a pretty time consuming task and you will need a lot of patience with it too. That is all okay in the end because the results are totally worth it. You know how rare gold rocks are? They are insanely rare in the buffle core area and you have to not only mine them constantly. Mining the Aquamarines. So now after hours of fighting with pesky little wizard lizards, let's hope that you have gotten lucky and found yourself the secret blueprint. The blueprint you will find inside the anvil and now that you have it, you can craft the secret blueprint. For doing that, you will need your trusty old spell book and the two of the crystallized aquamarine. For getting yourself the crystallized aquamarines, you can either go to the main island lake or the slime island one, but in any case, you have to go down to mine the aquamarine crystals. The chance that your aquamarine turns into a crystallized aquamarine is just 1%. Another way you can go about getting yourself a crystallized aquamarine is to just build an auto farm. Mine these things with like any pickaxe, with for example a wooden pickaxe, you can actually use, but it is not the best, okay? It will take a lot longer, so uh, the stone- Making a crystallized aquamarine auto farm. To get your aquamarines crystallized fast, you will have to make an auto farm. It is a pretty easy process and it doesn't take too long either. First you will need to get a pickaxe and it doesn't really matter which pickaxe you choose. When you are making the auto farm, however, a gilded steel pickaxe would be our top choice as it is probably the best option available right now. You can mine with it in just 18 seconds, while other axes take a bit longer. But if you do not have it, then any other pickaxe will do. For the auto farm, you can either go to the main island lake or you can go to the slime island one. It doesn't really matter as both lakes will work just as well. It takes about 4 to 5 minutes for the aquamarine to respond and you can get around 25 to 50 of the crystallized aquamarine in just a single day by auto farming. So I already mined the aquamarine spawns in that lake because I was testing to see how long it takes and just some numbers so I can tell you the title spellbook. So now that you have both the secret blueprint and two crystallized aquamarines, you need to take out your spellbook. Go over to the anvil and now you can just craft it into the title spellbook. That's one way of doing it. Another way that also happens to be faster than crafting the title book yourself is finding someone you can trade the book for. For trading, what you basically have to do is head over to the official Roblox Islands Discord server and then search in the search bar for the words, Selling Title Spellbook. This method is faster, but it is also less safe at the same time, as you might find a few trolls or even scammers along the way. 
you will just have to make sure that you don't get scams and another thing you need to keep in mind is that you don't have to pay more for an item than what it's worth. At the moment, the title book is worth around a hundred million robux, so when you buy one, try to find a deal for less than this amount. This brings us to the end of our video, I hope you enjoyed it, hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also watch a few videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video, goodbye!